please welcome to the stage Sebastian Chow. <laughs> So I'm half Chinese and half white. So it's kind of hard for me to fit in sometimes because Chinese people think I'm white and white people think I have fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> so uh, in high school, I was going out to school. I really liked her, but her family moved away in our second year. But I didn't want to lose touch, so we made a, a promise to each other, a pact, that if, if neither of us were married, by the time we turned 40, we would meet back up and kill ourselves. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't meant to be, though. Like I, uh, right after graduation, I couldn't wait. I went to go and find her, but she had already found someone else. She had moved on, and she didn't want to see me anymore. But I wasn't like I wasn't that upset because I know that when a girl closes the door on you, God opens a window, and you can watch her through that window <laughs> all night long. Uh, so, uh, my, my grandfather, when he retired, he moved uh, to Florida, to this beautiful little uh, town where everyone was so nice. Uh, at nighttime, they didn't even lock their doors, they just uh, let people trespass so they could shoot them for fun. <laughs> you know, uh, I, uh, I don't, didn't always get along with the guy. Uh, he s would say I was going through a rebellious phase. Uh, whenever I'd act up, and uh, you know, I'm not so upset about it now that he's going through his rotting in the ground phase. Uh, you know, uh, being a one-hit wonder—it's not the best thing for a musician, but it's much worse for vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> Staying there had its ups and downs, but uh, eventually, uh, eventually I had to move out because uh, the AC was way too loud, and whenever I would turn it off, it would collapse and suffocate all the kids inside. <laughs> I used to work at a suicide hotline. I got fired for trying to employ reverse psychology. <laughs> really good actually. Here's what you do. You try and recommend suicide like it was uh, a TV show on Netflix. Like, uh, oh man, you're gonna love it. I mean like, whew, that ending. <laughs> uh, my mother uh, has, was calling me up the other day and she was telling me about this new restaurant that opened up called uh, Andale's and it's a, it's a Mexican restaurant. It's really authentic. The food is authentic Mexican. All the all the staff is from Mexico. They speak Mexican. And uh, anyway, she she loves the place, but she has one issue with it, and it's the the name. She said uh, Andales. Uh, why is it called Andales? Like it's it's like an old Irish pub name. It's awful. And I thought about it for a second. I said, Mom, that place is not called Andales. It's called Andale. <laughs> uh, it's not about the uh, the size of the ship. It's about the motion of the ocean. You know that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, or it's not about how uh, how big the light bulb is. It's about how brightly it shines. There's a lot of sayings like this, and I have a theory about them. The more of these sayings that you know the smaller your dick is. <laughs> I'm Sebastian Chow, thanks everybody. Sebastian Chow!